This is Daily Dose of Daryl with a segment entitled, Do More. This has several sections and it begins with, Do more than exist, live. Many people go through life just hoping to exist, just to make it, having no fun, having no experiences, but always endeavor to do more than just exist, live. Live life to the fullest, abundant and full, it says. So always set your sights on living, not just existing. Then do more than touch. Learn to feel. Touch is one thing, but really learn to feel other people. Learn to understand them, even if it's Anne Frank and you look at her statue and realize what she went through, or somebody becoming a new citizen, or battling cancer, whatever it is, do more than touch. Learn the feel that's there, the feel of what's going on in their life, what's happening to them, and the things they're experiencing, and allow that to sink in, and our feeling and their feeling to begin to mesh and become one. So, Learn to do more than touch. Learn to feel. Then do more than look. Learn to observe. There's so many things you can observe. And many times, if you keep your eyes open and do more than just looking around, but start to observe, you'll see things that other people don't. Amazing things. You can go all the way around the world and find that there's a bird there that's going to follow you. Our little dogs are amazing statues. So you find people that are learning to observe rather than look. So I encourage all of us each day to not only keep our eyes open to look, but learn to observe. Uh, some people have called it wide angle vision. Learn to grasp the big picture that's around you. You can focus on the little things like the bird or the puppy dog, but then look at the broad expanse of beauty that surrounds you. Capture that wide angle vision that's there uh, for you just, you're taking. And so wherever you are each day, ask yourself, am I just giving a casual look at my surroundings? Or am I learning to observe, to really focus and let my eyes begin to see what's there. So we want to do more than exist. We want to live. We want to do more than touch. We want to feel. We want to do more than look. We want to observe. And then we want to do more than simply read. We want to absorb. Absorb what's going on in other people. Learn to read people, not just their shirts, but what they're about. And you'll begin to connect in spirit. You'll see uh, a spirit in a little child or a construction worker, a juggler on the street. You'll begin to uh, not only just read the signs and the people, but you'll absorb what's going on in that setting or, or wherever the people are doing things. You learn to absorb that. Now, you can absorb bubbles. <laughs> and have fun with it or you can absorb the music that's there and and even in the quietness waiting for a train or learning uh, about people wherever you are uh, do more than read absorb and do more than hear learn to listen you can listen not only with your ears but with your eyes as you begin to look around and start looking at life as something to do more than read, but absorb. Do more than hear, but really listen. And you'll start to see things that you never noticed before. Not a statue, but you begin to see the airplane behind it. The people on the bench, you see how they're relating to each other. You see how people are helping other people. You learn that, that as they're reading, they may be absorbing more than they ever thought possible. And so that's, I encourage you to do more than exist, learn to live, do more than touch, learn to feel, do more than look, learn to really observe, 
do more than read, learn to absorb, do more than hear, learn to listen, and do more than listen, learn to understand. Understand artwork, understand people, understand the types of social uh, statuses in life, understand the relationship of people to dogs and uh, pets and to religion and philosophies and uh, different races. Just learn to listen to understand and then learn to do more than think as you listen. Learn to really ponder, understand, not the words, but what they're saying with the spirit. <laughs> Learn to listen with your eyes and ears and read to, under, to, to absorb and then to begin to ponder. Ponder what's happening in the world. Ponder and give it time to let it sink in and really give it thought and look and listen and take the time, whether it's raising a million dollars for world hunger, or meditating in Hawaii, or the Statue of David, but do more than talk then, learn to say something. Most people look at a napkin, but they don't see anything in there. It's kind of like people sometimes, but inside of every napkin, there's something beautiful, just like with people. But often we have to work with a napkin to uncover the beauty just like we do with people. We're here now located in Athens, Greece, at the site of the first theater recorded in the world. And at this particular site of entertainment, it was also a site of education, just like the story of the napkin. Because the more you work with the napkin, the more you think, oh, I know what that is. But often we jump to conclusions too quickly, just like with people. Because inside of every napkin and person, there are more facets that can be uncovered. And you might be the one to come along and lift up and lift out the beauty that you see in the napkin. I'll turn the napkin upside down. But again, I don't recommend that for people. And you think, well, there it is. But no, you can bring your gifts and talents to enhance the beauty that you've uncovered. So we'll do a little enhancement here and another little enhancement here. And that's about a 45 second enhancement. I'm going to give you this napkin to remind you that the rose that was uncovered from here is beauty that we did not know before, but now we do. And I'm going to give it to you to remind you that you have the rest of your life to bring the beauty out in other people. God bless you. So do more than exist, live. Do more than touch, feel. Do more than look, observe. Do more than read, absorb. Do more than hear, listen. Do more than listen, understand. Do more than think, ponder. And do more than talk, say something worthwhile. God bless you.